Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to export your mod. Uh, so, so far we've gone ahead and made an arrow, a campfire, a spear, and a stone pick. I also did make a metal shirt, but the video kind of messed up, so I'm going to have to redo that one later. But uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can export this mod to Steam. Um, this is probably the most difficult part, which is funny because it comes last, and if you can't get this one right, then the whole thing doesn't count. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and get this started. So we're going to go ahead and open up our primal game at game data bp generic mod my mod uh, blueprint and uh... we're gonna go to file and reparent the blueprint because when i showed you guys the original video i accidentally created a child of it or something that was already a child and that was completely my bad and i uh... screwed that up so we're gonna go ahead and reparent it, reparent it to primal game data uh... the base primal game data right here reparent it won't you won't lose anything and it'll be perfectly fine. Alright, and we're going to do the same thing with the test game mode. File, reparent. Then we're going to look for test game mode. Oh, maybe it's under base test. I think that's it. It should be fine. I don't think that one really affects that much. This one's what pretty much controls everything. So uh, just make sure you have your Ingrams for um, everything in here. You have all the five of your or all four of your Ingrams, depending on how much stuff you put in here. You've done all of that. Uh, make sure this thing right here is uh, the default game mode refers to the one that's in your folder. Um, which it should already if you followed my previous tutorials and that should be it on that front um, you can go ahead and change your mod name here you can put like uh, my uh, I'll just put this my YouTube test mod this is a test mod boom Alright, uh, then we're going to go ahead and compile and save that. Obviously we're just saving what we just wrote, but... Alright, and then we're going to want to... Oop, did it not save? It's being a little slow right now. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, then we're going to go ahead and load up the generic MyMod level. Oop, going to save it as well. I guess that's just a test map. Test map doesn't really matter, but either way. We're going to open up this. All right, and now we're in this level, which which changes your primal world settings. So we're we're gonna go over here, and you can say primal game data BP generic mod. You're gonna change that to primal game game data BP generic mod my mod. We're gonna um, just click that. So now it's right. If you can see that. Same thing down here. Actually, we're down here. We're gonna leave it at none. To be honest, I'm not really sure why, but I know that's the right thing to do. Um, and then we're gonna go to step. Oh, we're gonna save things first. I almost said. Just follow save, save, and then we're gonna st upload it to Steam. Steam upload, uh, my mod, that's where it is. We'll call it, uh, let's call it, uh, test. Well, YouTube test mod, uh, a test mod. We'll make it private, well, public, I guess. Change notes, none. I think you got to fill in all the sections though. Uh, you have to put a preview image too, I believe. Uh, pictures, perfect. Perfectly describes our mod. Um, then we're going to go to Cook Game Mod. It's going to do a lot of crap. It's also going to log you out of Steam. Um, oh yeah, real quick. Um, you guys need to know this. Um, let's see, we'll go to Settings. You have to disable your Steam Guard. So if you go here to manage your Steam Guard, and you have to turn it off, or else it won't work when you're trying to upload it. So you're going to have to turn that off. It kind of, I hate it, but you do. Uh, you can go back to settings, and then you can re-enable it whenever you're done. But uh, this will take a while to cook um, the first time. Uh, it just takes a long time to cook it. It's going to go through a ton of warnings. It shouldn't have any errors. You're going to see at some point it's gonna, just going to go through. and Like all this stuff, that's fine. Warnings, who cares? But it's going to compile it for Linux, then it's going to compile it for Windows, both at the same time. I believe if we go through here, we can find 
Steam library, Steam apps, common. Oop, nope, that's not right. Um, nope, uh, oh yeah, that's after we upload it. Sorry, never mind. Actually, we might be able to find it in the Epic Games folder because Epic Games is what we're making this mod in. Uh, I believe it's on my hard drive. Epic Games, Arc Dev Kit, uh, Mod Tool, nope. Projects? Nope, not in there. No, I, I I don't know where it is. I feel like I'm just missing it. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It should uh it should cook up. Everything will be fine. I'll show you where it, it is in your Steam folder once you've actually downloaded your mod from the uh Steam mod playlist. But uh, we'll just give this thing a minute here. I'll go ahead and give you guys a uh annotation you can click on to skip ahead of this whole rambling bit of the video. But it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes for me. Uh, well, not 10 minutes, more like probably five and a half, or just five. It's a weird number to pick. But uh, your first time doing it, I think it takes longer. The first time ever uploading any mod, I think, takes the longest. And then the, uh, I mean, it kind of gets shorter after that once it starts to catch, catch the files. But um, it's definitely going to take you a while your first time. Especially depending on how fast or slow your computer is and etc. All right, you see success. Zero arrows, 9,529 warnings. So you know that uh, it worked, kind of. At least it didn't screw up. So there's warnings, it's fine. Because t as long as it says success, zero errors, who cares about the warnings? And obviously, I hope you guys know, um, you go to download your mod. You're going to go to Steam, Library. Uh, you can just go to Workshop, Browser Workshop from here. And it should be in here somewhere. Also, feel free to check out my, uh, where is it? There we go, Metals Mod. I use the same picture. It's a pretty sick picture. I've actually had 142 people look at it. And 12 people subscribe to it, even though it's a complete test. But uh, basically, the mod I'm working on, it just is going to add a bunch of new metals in the game. Copper, bronze, uh... Well, it's going to add copper ore and stuff like that, and it's going to have bronze that you create with copper and tin. It's going to have iron, steel, uh, possibly some higher grade alloys. I'm not really exactly sure what I'm going to do, what all I'm going to do with it yet, but I definitely want to get those early game metals in a push back, kind of like the, like you know how they have metal hatchet at level 25. I'll probably push that back until level uh, 40 and rename it iron, and I'll put copper at like 12 or 15, and bronze at 25, and that way you'll have some metal all throughout the game. Get a bunch of warnings, failed loads. Once again, that's still fine. I also noticed there's misspelled nerdy glasses right here. Nedry glasses, nedry glasses, nedry glasses. Ooh. Kind of jumps a little bit. Just gonna keep going. I think it's getting pretty close. I think it's almost done. Because it already did one of them when it said success. Um, it's got to do the second one now. I think it does Linux first. It may do the other one first. I don't know.
Oh, there's a second one. And we're done. Job successful. If you're not paying attention, you may lose this on an alternate screen or off in a corner somewhere. So this thing's kind of hard to see sometimes, so just remember that. So once you've gotten that, you can go ahead and upload it. You're going to have to log into your Steam. It's perfectly safe. And accept. This thing should pop up. Hoping it's not going to show my password or anything anywhere. Um, nope. Everything's good. All right, good. Upload started. Upload done. Uh, it should be uploaded to Steam now, and my Steam's going to be logged out. Okay, well, it's not going to let me go online. No connection. It it just it does that. I don't know why it does that every time. So we're going to have to uh, log out. Then re log back in. All right. I go ahead and go offline before people. Ooh, I get spammed for like the next five seconds with the next thirty seconds with people coming online. Ooh, um, and once we've done that. We can go ahead and go to the browser workshop. Oop. Just go to the most recent items. And I don't see it yet. Uh, so let's see. It may take a minute to get onto the site. I'm not exactly sure how long it's going to take. Trying to find the best way to find it because I know most recent probably isn't the most reliable way to find it. Let's see. I know there's a way to find my workshop item. Let me see if I can find. Stuff I made. Oh, my files, here we go. Oh, I just saw it for a second. There we go, my YouTube test mod. Okay, so we're going to click on that. Click subscribe. And now I've been subscribed to it. It's going to download it. 2.6 megabytes. Seems low. That might be right. We're going to go to play. Now we're just testing if it works. Host local. Uh, let's go ahead and get my metal mods out of this. Go to YouTube test mod. Put that in there. Um, then we're gonna go to play single player. May take a couple minutes. All right, let's see. No, it's still going. Super weird noise. Don't remember hearing that noise. Ooh, I'm lagging.
Okay, so we'll go ahead and go to Ingram's. Yay, here we go. We got our stone sacks of full scatches, our wooden spear, and our campfire my mod. They're all here. Alright guys, hopefully that shows you guys how to export your mods. Um, I'm actually very happy it worked on the first attempt, because it took me quite a few attempts to get my mod to work at first. Um, but anyways guys, that should be it. If you have any trouble, anything specific, I can probably help you with. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. Let me know what else you guys would like to see how to do in the mod kit. Um, because right now I'm just still doing kind of a guess and check because I haven't gotten all that many requests. But anyways, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.